What's good, Home Squad? It's your boy, Home Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And as you see by the thumbnail behind me, we here with Dizzy 8, Arrow Allen, and Musicality with a Superman vs. Goku rap song strongest. Dragon Ball vs. DC. Now, first things first. You already know. Sorry, green screen. Almost knocked the green screen down, but you already know I had to lock that door because of certain people. <laughs> but hey, you already know the whole. You already know with people always doing the whole debate about who's the strongest, either Superman or Goku and such. And hey, honestly, I ain't gonna debate on that. So, comment section, y'all can have that. Y'all let me know who y'all think is the strongest between Goku and Superman. And isn't that wrong? Didn't Jamar Rose did something like this before, like years ago? But hey, let's see what Dizzy 8 and Errol Allen has to say about this one and such. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. What is the true meaning of greatness? Is it success, power, fame, or is it longevity, dominance? Two icons chasing a legacy, neither scared to fail. The strongest from the East and the strongest from the West. Who shall prevail? Hey, if you say you're the strongest, then show me. I just need mm. me a worthy opponent. If it's something that's up and I want it, ain't no reason mm. to sell it a moment. But I bet he gon' start when I'm on him. I'm on board every stop in his motion. If you try mm. to keep up, better focus. When I go pull this code and then do I'm going Super mm. Saiyan 2. What can you do with Super Saiyan Blue? I am way more than you can handle. If you can, then you know I can too. Let me show him what Superman do. Think it's like what's mm. he ran through. Hand in hand in this bank of this man too. I'd humble this man in his man too. I got some angels and God on my side. Took me a while. Ooh, how you gonna manage here when I'm the man of steel that's unbreakable? Mm -hmm. First of all, you ain't finna just come in here and sauce it. Nah. Those two are a deadly. Yo, we always talk about deadly duos of not just in nerdcore, but just in rap in general, and just like hip hop in general. I gotta say, in nerdcore hip hop and such, you can say, Dizzy and Errol Allen, as of late, has been the deadliest duo. So, hey. I'm so strong, it's not relatable. You a mini me. Might be heavyweight, but I'm used to lifting up infinity. Bro, not a guy. You're a mini me. I'm used to lifting up heavy things, he said. Hold on. Not relatable. You a mini me. Might be heavyweight, but I'm used to lifting up infinity. Bro, not a guy. Get your halo trying to play the vinity. Son, go. Bro, you not a guy. You trying to get your halo. You try to play inf infinity. Infinity Halo, the video game. Come on now. When I'm the man of steel, that's unbreakable. I'm so strong, it's not relatable. You a mini me. Might be heavyweight, but I'm used to lifting up infinity. Bro, not a guy. Get your halo trying to play the infinity. Son Goku, he a kid to me. And this is who y'all think is about to finish me? I'm the greatest. Like, what did you say? Like, bro, stop playing with me. You know I'm the man. Yeah. You know I'm the greatest. So happy I made it. I can think of a lot of reasons why Goku is hated. <laughs> well, for one, in a way, he's a bad parent. Because let's be honest, as much as he's trying to save the universe, how many times does this nigga always abandon Gohan just to save the world? I'm just saying, just saying, don't be bashing me. Hear me out, right? Y'all remember that whole little thing about hear me out? Well, hear me out. Nigga always abandoning his son. Nine times out of ten, 
He's a blockhead. <laughs> Cause he be saying some, he be saying or doing some stupid ish that make Chi Chi get mad at him. So you can't blame me. You can't blame her for always trying to get mad at the guy. So it is what it is. That's just a couple of reasons for me. Like what did you say? Like bro, stop playing with me. You know the man. Yeah. You know I'm the greatest. So happy I made it. I don't know why I made it. Oh. They wanna say what? Like staying on business, but this is not what I stand <laughs> for. Like what is the vision? They tried to say it was impossible. Overcame the obstacle. Journey ain't optional. No. Why does it matter who better? It really don't matter. It's your grave vendetta. We can be yet mm. forever. We cannot be beaten. We sticking mm. together. I'm just like you. You just like me. And really, this fight kind of feel like a setup. Cause everything points to a different direction that we can aim to make both of us better. I mean, hey. And in a way, let's be honest. Like I said earlier at the start of it, this it really has always been like this debate about who's better and such. Well, in a way. Saying like, let's squash this beef and such. Saying, nigga, at the end of the day, who can really defeat? He's really like, who can really defeat us to when we're together? Cause we either, cause when we're both doing our separate things, we do, we both amazing in our own way. But really, when we join forces, who can really stop us? So hey, and that's in a way relating to how it is in life and such, like. Even though we might do great separate and such, which is nothing's wrong with that. But if we stop the beef and such and really come joining forces, nigga, ain't no but ain't no way nobody gonna defeat us. Straight up with it. Why does it matter who better? It really don't matter. Better. It's your grave vendetta. We can Never. be at this forever. We cannot be beaten. We sticking together. I'm just like you. You just mm. like me. Facts. It really just like me. I feel like a setup. Cause everything points to a different mm. direction that we can aim to make both of us better. We both be a peak mm. in a life through adversity. And we both get our heavy mm. to burden be. I'd rather be both mm. of fraternity. We equally great diversity fighting each other. Mmm. I'd rather be brothers fraternity. We equally great diversity. Come on now. What I was. That's. Oh, that's the one thing I'm always talking about. Diversity, nigga. Bro. You cannot tell. Bro, I be saying this a lot off camera, y'all. I always talk about how. Nigga, people. If we all just get together, nigga. Nothing is wrong with having diversity and such. Not just in language, but just in cultures. In everything that we do in everyday life. Because, brother. With the way how most people think like. Oh, one thing is better than the other. No, nigga. Do I always think? Look, I always love my country, right? I love Jamaica. I'm, cause dog, I was born from there. But I'm that not to say like, I ain't trying to want to meet other countries out there. I don't want to want to meet other countries out there, cause at the end of the day, I might want to. I mean, hell. I want in my second life here. Well, in my second life in the U.S. and such, most specifically Florida, throughout my entire nine years there, nine years, ten, yeah, nine years there, from middle school to straight up until high school, you can say, or, yeah, high school, I've always had this, like, special connection when it comes to Haitians. Because, in a way, they always say, like, Haitians and Jamaicans are the same and such, and hey, who am I to disagree? Because literally we are. We all are like different. We all have like the same culture aspects or whatnot. The only and even though we have broken English, well no. Well anyway it is. It's just that theirs is broken French or so. Ours is literally broken English. So but either way, despite all that, we are definitely the same. So Nine times out of ten, you will mostly always see me hanging out with certain Haitians and such. So, hey, at the end of the day, and plus, for most of the times, whenever I'm going to church and such there, it mostly be, be with my Haitian church. And I'm the only Jamaican that goes there. <laughs> so, that just shows you, nigga, if, I, if a Jamaican like me can go to a Haitian church and still enjoy it, even if I don't know most of the times what they're saying, and they say for English versions for me and such since I'm there. 
and who knows I, and plus I mostly always like learning a little bit of Haitian Creole there and such so long story short nigga if a Jamaican like me can go to a Haitian church and still enjoy and hang around with Haitians and still enjoy it as much as I would do with if it's a Jamaican church then nigga why can't everybody else in the world try to come together and have some diversity in their life like damn it ain't that hard what does it matter who better it really don't matter better we can't get this forever we cannot be beaten we sticking together i'm just like you just like me and really just like me feel like a setup because everything points to a different direction that we can aim to make both of us better we both be a peak in a life of adversity and we both get out happy to burden me i'd rather be both of fraternity we equally claim diversity fighting each other it's not without purpose me i'm trying to go better than her feel like the best but what is that work still gotta get up and put in the work when i see me get down on my backside when i see my ship and watch me capsize i got fire in me i've been baptized will you call me out when i Y'all re dizzy y'all really clickbaited the hell out of this title. I ain't gonna lie, and it was smart. <laughs> cause at night time cause I said with the whole debate between Goku and Superman and such, y'all really said like you know what? F all that. Let's really when they come into the song, let's really tell them that nigga, does it matter who is better? <laughs> you re they really did that and such and in a way. Cause I saw on what to do Dave's thumbnail where it says they clickbaited us into positivity, and I ain't gonna lie, I was skeptical. But after hearing this, yeah, but it was smart. Now work. and I like how they gonna flip it now saying like what are you saying I'm the man basically I like how the first half of it was talking about who was better and such but then as soon as when they realize this fighting between one another is insane we both are equally great and such and now he gonna flip it to like bro stop playing with us like they don't understand basically saying about how as soon as when y'all get over the because nine times out of ten when it comes to certain things between two great people it's always like a little ego to say in a way let's a legal ego saying who's better than who but then once you duke it out or so or talk about it and then you realize Y'all both are the same and such. Y'all both, y'all both have equal goals. Y'all both equally are great to get. Y'all both are equally great separately, but together, y'all could create like they just said a legacy and such. So hey, if this don't say that nigga, let's come together and work together. In a way, I don't know what the good, just Sorry. imagine everything we could achieve. Just imagine all the hates that we can see. Elevate the places they ain't never seen. We two legends that stand together. We gonna show them how to build a legacy. We be the good a legacy. Like what do you say? Crazy. Let's like, say don't stop playing with us. Yeah, they playing with us. Know. You know we the greatest. So happy we made it. Hey, when we sit at the top, they don't want us to rest. They want us to fall to the bottomless pit. When you sit at the top, they gon' cover your neck. We ain't going for neck facts. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, bro, stop playing with him. Hey, he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong when he say when you the greatest, people gonna be coming at your neck. And bro, if that ain't a factor, like a motherfucker. But hey, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And look, if you made it to the end, comment down below. Squashed. Squash the beef. Because let's be honest, that whatever whatever beef y'all have with somebody and such, just squash it. Whether you have to duke it out or just talk it out. No violence or anything. If, if it was with the hands you got to deal with it, deal with the hands. But no gun shit or anything like that.
talk if you want to talk it out or duke it out hey i'm all with that but either way comment down below squash the beef if you made it to the end but it's been your boy homo ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up shout out to this Z and arrow allen y'all did y'all think and musicality on the beat i'm out